One of the first flights after the engine evaluation, and it's running better than ever. November 80991 went into the shop a few weeks ago for some magneto issues, and we were suspecting that the engine was in need of an overhaul. The mechanic took a good long hard look at the engine and ran it through some tests that he demonstrated to us, and the verdict is that it's in fantastic condition. He showed us that the camshaft is in great condition and all of the valves are operating properly. However, he did crack open both magnetos, and they were in horrible condition. We've only owned the airplane for about two years, which is about 400 hours in the logbook and these magnetos hadn't been serviced since 1986, or about 2100 hours. The mags were definitely past their point of no return, so we opted to order two new magnetos, and I must say that that made all the difference in the world. The engine is definitely pushing out more clean power, and the mag check is flawless now with no more than 50 RPM drop on both sides, so needless to say, this engine should be lasting us a long time. We flew the airplane up to Taylor, Texas for some really cheap fuel, and then we rolled cameras before we took off again to capture the flight around downtown on the way back to San Marcos. We were struck by a surprising treat on the way back. ACL, or Austin City Limits Music Festival, was happening down on the lawns of Zilker Park, and I was blown away by how visible it was from the air. ACL is a huge music festival that happens every fall in Austin, and it's what gives Austin its nickname of the live music capital of the world, and I was stunned by how lit up it was and how well the cameras captured this epic flyover. Flight instruments, check, check, check. This one, we can afford to adjust it just a little bit. Okay, centered, centered. Fuel selector is on both, and mixture is set. We'll go a little rich there. Parking brake is set. Throttle up to 17. Do a quick mag check with these brand new magnetos. Left is clean, back to both. Right is clean, back to both. Carb heat clean. Green, green, plenty of fuel. We're full of fuel. Suction is good and ammeter responsive with the landing light. Leave the carb ready heat out. Power back to 15, I'm sorry, 1000 to idle. Okay still runs with carb heat out. Magnetos, carb, engine, good, throttle to idle, flaps, we don't need flaps. Departure procedures, we're gonna go straight out and then downtown is that way, you can kind of see the glow on the horizon. And avionics set. That's gonna be our departure frequency. All right, go ahead and let it slide over there. Taylor traffic, Skyhawk 80991 taking runway 17, we're going to be a departure to the southwest, Taylor. Okay, transponder to altitude, car peak cold, mixture is set, flaps are up, fuel selector is on both, trim is set for takeoff, strobe lights on. Reality check on the gyro here. That's about right. All right, heels down to the floor, full power. There's 65. Austin Approach, Skyhawk, November 80991. Skyhawk 80991, Austin Approach. Yeah, Skyhawk 991, we're a Cessna 172, just off Taylor. Um, we're going to be en route VFR to San Marcos, uh, but we would like to circle downtown a couple times uh, en route if we could. Skyhawk 991, Squawk 0240, the altimeter at Austin 29085. Okay, 0240 on the box, uh, 2985 on the altimeter, 991. Well, 928 November Golf, clear direct marks, and it's going to maintain 10,000. Direct marks at 10,000, 8 November Golf. 
Skog 991, radar contact two miles southwest of uh, Taylor. Say altitude. Uh, leaving 2400, we're going to level off at 2.5. Roger. Prematurely let go of the button. 991, you can resume your own navigation toward the city. Oh, now to the city, 991. Once we get there, do you want us to stay west of the interstate? Uh, 991, the next controller will take that. Uh, we'll let you know. Okay, Roger, 991. Pull the power back a little bit. Basically, I'm pulling the mixture back. You can see my fuel flow dropping. Yeah. And I'm getting it just where the RPM is going to start to drop a tiny bit. There it is. I'll just go in just a little bit, and this is where we're going to get our peak fuel efficiency. Because if I keep it at full rich, even though we are close to sea level, so the air, air is pretty dense down here, yeah. I can afford to pull it back. You'll really mess up your engine if you keep it all the way in. You'll choke the, choke the engine off out, because you're just dumping fuel into it. I can afford to pull the power back a little bit, and we're going 105 knots. Although, look, we got a wind in our face now. 80 knots, that's about 90 miles an hour. I could tell that we were going slower too. I was looking at the ground. Yeah. Test 991, can I approach 119.0? Or 19, nothing. Uh, 991, can I? Check paid A342, have a good night. Southwest 202. Approach Skyhawk 991 with you, uh, 2500. Number 991, Austin, approach Austin, altimeter 2085. 2985991. I can see we're kind of slipping that way too. They said I could proceed direct to the city, so actually I could turn this way a little bit more. 710 Gulf's got the traffic apparently going into uh, around uh, Austin Executive side. Number 77 Gulf, Roger, he's just opposite direction uh, at 2500. I got him inside. Number 77 Golf Roger. 991 traffic 12 o'clock in two and a half miles opposite directions of Meridian has you inside descending out at 3,400. Traffic inside 991. 991 Roger. Meridian 77 Golf and radar service terminate change advisory frequency approved. There is traffic also inbound to executive about two miles north of the airport. He is on advisories. Number 991 traffic one o'clock five miles southeastbound Airbus descending out at 3,600. Inside 991. Or 991, caution way turbulence. Roger. Okay, so we may actually pick up a little bit of turbulence from him. Because he leaves a wake in the air, like a boat leaves a wake in water. Except in the air, his wake is going to be sinking. And since he's going to go above us, and we're going to go underneath him, it may sink into our path, if it's timed perfectly. And then once I keep going west, they'll say contact Albuquerque Center. 991, additional traffic to another bus, 2 to 3 o'clock and 5 miles, southeast bound 4,000. Inside, 991. 991, Roger. And you're just going to go over the city and continue over the city towards San Marcos, or you're going to maneuver over the city? And we're going to make a couple rounds over the city. 991, Roger. Additional traffic just pump up off of a hospital downtown, 12 o'clock in, a mile and a half northbound as a helicopter. And altitude indicates 800. Okay, uh, traffic inside, 991. 991, Roger. See a helicopter down there. You can barely see him. He's no, going that way slowly. You see his blinking red beacon? Right in front of us, down there by the highway. Uh, sure, I'll see him. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Man, you see these things so quick. I just know what to look for. American 1440. Oh, just change. Jedi direct home out. The Senate pilot's discretion maintained 2005. That lady just got a break. There's a lot of people down there. In 1771, also approach, expect way 17 right, Fox Trots current, wind 18011, ultimate 2985. Dude, that is awesome. Twenty sixteen out prepare to expect my one seven left to part Jedi direct Gappy. <laughs> That's cool. That's crazy. Oh 
downtown. Now it just feels like we're going so slow because we got that wind in our face. We're doing 70 knots, 69 knots. We're doing about 80 miles an hour here. Oh my god, cars are passing us. Take another loop here and then uh, head back down. Okay, we're going to find Michael Marina, contact Poison Mouth southeast of the Austin uh, Parkstrom Airport. Proceed on course, descending your discretion for San Marcos. The San Marcos Tower is closed for the evening. A lot of people. 421 Lima Yankee. One Lima Yankee landing God. on. That's a hell of an event. Stand by for code, sir. Only one Lima Yankee when able to walk 0227. Expect my 17 last. Roger, and we're ready to contact 13 miles southwest of the Austin Berkshire Airport. Fly heading 340, vectors for uh, sequence. See, they're all leaving. Yeah. We want to leave Yankee, Roger. There's a protected area south of the airport for departure corridor. Fly 340 for now. San Marcos traffic, Skyhawk 809915, final, final, runway 17, full stop, San Marcos. Okay, throttle to idle, a few swipes of trim up. Just hold it here until the speed goes away. Ooh, that was nice. And there's a nose gear. I don't even remember the last time I went up for a local flight, just for fun. In the last two months I got caught up in school and scrambling to prepare for my instrument checkride, but now that the checkride is done and I have a solid grasp on the academic semester, it was nice to get out and go fly just for the hell of it. As pilots, especially those of us who make careers out of our passion, we sometimes have to remind ourselves why we started flying to begin with. Flying isn't something you decide to do over a weekend. It takes time and commitment, but most of all, it takes passion, and you have to want it more than anything else. I would not be flying like I am today if I didn't love it so much.